In the last episode, you saw how the real AIX was able to create music himself, was able to uh, verbalize uh, poetry himself, and we also saw how he can use those skills in order to form his opinions, uh, having obtained that license in the first place. You create something, you can have an opinion about something. So, <coughs> these skills came in quite handy in the fall of 2008, when he had a battle slash beef with a certain partner on YouTube that uh, supposedly creeped everybody out, but none more so than this man himself. And the real AIX felt threatened, not only by the man, but also by the, his apostles, quote unquote, those who are supposedly fans of this partner, uh, particularly YouTube partner, and um, a two and fro battle took place. But as they say, in the case of a comedian, never make fun of a comedian because you will lose. And here, you should never go to battle with an MC like the real AIX because you're bound to lose. So the next few uh, video clips will be uh, possibly a lesson on how to actually either draw in a beef or to win outright by simply expressing yourself and fully exposing uh, the, the horrors that you uh, receive, but then reflecting them back accurately. The onslaught continues. They continue, Paul. The onslaught continues. This is what your fans do, Paul. And you do not control them. Personally, um, sent me two messages, and in these two messages, he says he cannot, he cannot control what his viewers and his fans do. Paul, if I can tell my people to leave your people alone while your people attack me, you can tell your people to stop. So, as the bigger person, Paul, as the partner, sir, it is your responsibility to tell these people to stop. Yo, Paul, whatever your name is, I forget. I want to draw some attention to you right now. And I'm going to be real honest with you, dude. You come off creepier than shit. You come off very creepy. I mean, dude... There's something about you that gives people a weird feeling. I mean, when people told me about a couple of your videos, I wanted to check for myself. Um, how did you become a partner? I mean, you come off hella creepy, dude. That whole Forbidden Love series, it was sad and made yourself look like a pedophile. I mean, it's just something creepy about you, dude. And, and I'm not saying this in a mean way or... Or try to belittle you or whatever you're doing on your page. This is your business. This is what you do. But you come off like somebody with a problem. I mean, and it's weird because I don't know if I knew you personally, you probably would I probably wouldn't have that feeling, but I get a weird, eerie feeling watching your videos, dude. And I just want to be honest with you, dude. You come off creepy, man. I mean all of a sudden now my video works. So now I go back to the internet and someone calls himself the masturbator sends a picture of some man's penis and balls to my personal messages. And what else does it say? What else does it say? Okay. His regards. But hey, it's the message underneath that, Mr. S. The message underneath that says, Leave Paul alone. Oh, man, that's the wrong one. Huh. Leave Paul alone. If you know what is good for you, we have already 
That's your computer. Your page was masturbated to. So, they've hacked my computer and masturbated watching a video. I have no women in my video. So you got some guys masturbating to my videos, sending me pictures of penises, mad at me because I'm telling this guy he came off creepy in the video. Then I said this guy had his goons at YouTube shut my video down in two videos after the fact. Those two videos I was willing to pull once my video began to play again. My, vi my video began to play again, and then I get these guys showing pictures of male penises. Leave Paul alone. Now Paul, why in the Leave hell? Leave Paul alone! Leave Paul alone! <laughs> Paul, why in the hell do you take your pants down and show your genitals and your penis and try to make me look bad? Paul, all I said was you look creepy in a few of your videos. All 70 of them. You look creepy, dude. You got people making fun of you because of the way you come off. I didn't say anything was wrong with your video. 